viewers the latest news about the current situation between Ethiopia Tigray and Eritrea is that yes, today in this video i will inform you about the latest updates from Lalibela and Adigarat but first of all we will talk about Ethiopia's minister of information Ligisi Tulu in a statement said that the people of Ethiopia must rise up and take up arms to defend themselves against the multifaceted enemy. He said he has called on all Ethiopians to take up arms and defend themselves. He called on the people to show unity and nationalism. But on the other hand, according to the local hospital officials and the Tigray Defense Force, the capital of Ethiopia's Tigray region has been hit by an airstrike. It was Kibrom Gebre Selassie, chief clinical director at Maclay's Either Referral Hospital, said that there had been a drone attack close to midnight on Tuesday near Maclay General Hospital. And casualties are arriving at Either Hospital, he said, and another senior Either Hospital official Hailom Kabede said in a brief message that two wounded people had been taken to the facility so far and a nighttime drone attack in Mekele, no convincible military targets. Tigray People Liberation Front spokesman Gada Churida said that Mekele hospital among the targets and at least three bombs dropped. Was on the other hand, according to the latest updates, Eritrea is getting ready to shell Adigarit city by artillery volleys via Zalambesa. And according to several reliable sources, heavy infantry units, including the Ethiopian army units that crossed border transported to Eritrea, are on standby to expand their invasion and enter Adigarit city. This fighting is already going on at Eritrea Tigray border between Eritrea Defense Force and Tigray Defense Force, especially in Shiraro. Because if you look at your screen, Adigarat is a big city in terms of population of Tigray region and situated on Eritrea Tigray border. On the other hand, according to the latest updates from reliable sources, all the special forces and police in Lalibela, down to the prison, guards and officials have left for Sikyota with their weapons. Where well, Sikyota is situated in Vaghemra near Mahara Tigray border and reports coming that fighting is going on in Muja which is situated near Lalibela city and no electricity again in Lalibela city. Well, Lalibela imposed curfew movements, restriction, unauthorized firearms possession. Lalibela is known otherwise as the Jerusalem of Rika and is home to the UNESCO registered rock heaven churches. The Lalibela city government communication. The historic town of Lalibela in Amhara regional state has issued curfew and restriction of movement for people and vehicle. And so by so doing Lalibela followed the cities of Debre Birhan Kambolcha, Sikyota, which impose stricter restriction on movements of people and vehicles and curfews as of today, as well as the cities of Voldia and Desi, which implemented similar decision as of Sunday, 28th August. So according to the Lalibela City Government Communication Affairs Office, the mayor of Lalibela City Administration, Mr. Tasifa Hebte, cautioned the residents of the city to understand the lies inciting hatred and stay calm and protect their surroundings. The mayor also urged the residents to side with the National Defense Force, Amara Special Forces and Fano Militias to fight against Tigray Defense Force that are committing violence in our zone. Based on the current situation, the city administration has therefore imposed the curfew to not enter or leave the city from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. local times. No vehicle is also allowed to move from 7 p.m. to 6 p.m. local time. 
so viewers so far the latest update for more latest update please subscribe channel thanks for watching